Hey, what is going on guys, ZK here and today welcome back to the Crew Final Beta for a very special video indeed because we are reunited with my favourite driving route in the crew, not my favourite driving road, my favourite driving route and that is from Vegas to Yosemite. Now I think I said that right this time, there was quite a lot of people in the last bit of saying that I didn't pronounce Yosemite right but I like calling it yours mate because it's easier to it's safe from mouth if you know what I mean. But anyway, it is round about 3 p or 3 a.m. in the game. Yeah, it's 3.22 a.m. And I thought I may as well start the video like this because it's only going to turn into daytime. It's only going to get a bit more better. But since I'm in that sort of drive feeling where I just want to do some night driving, I want to do that. But anyway, this is my custom 370Z, which I done last night. It looks absolutely sexy as hell. With the King One vinyls on it, it looks absolutely brilliant. Really, really reminds me of like DK's uh, Tokyo Drift 350Z. It's very, very nice. But without further ado, let's go ahead and drive this thing. But today we've got quite a lot of things to talk about, including my plans for 2015, Need for Speed No Limits, and quite a lot more as well. But first of all, I just want to actually just do a quick shout out, guys. You know, normally I don't do a lot of shout outs. But to this guy, he's really, really cool indeed. He's got me on Facebook. I've chatted to him quite a while. His name's Ollie Parkinson. Now, he done a recent vlog a couple of days ago, and he mentioned me, Domestic Mango, and Tomcat in it. But I think he said me at the start first, and he was saying... Uh, because I was talking to him on Facebook, I think it was, just giving him pointers and tips on how to get his channel more successful and how to get it properly started up. He's only on 600 subs, guys. A wee bit over 600 subs go. Um... So what he posts is like Forza and stuff like that, basically the same as me, but he is, as I said, just getting started out. So to anyone out there that wants to go and check him out, then the link will be in the description. I recommend you doing so, because I can, well, I can't speak today. I can definitely see this guy getting far in the very near future indeed. So link will be down below to Ollie's channel, but just a little bit of advice that I always say to everyone, and I said to Ollie, if you're looking to start out in YouTube, I get this question a lot, I really, really do. Um, it's one of the most asked questions in like the YouTube community. Um, and it says, oh, how can I become more successful on YouTube? How can I get my channel started out? I have to say, this is the best advice that I can give you. Seriously, guys, be yourself and bring your own original ideas to the table. That is what I tell every single person that asks me. Be yourself and bring your own original ideas to the table and you will get far because that's all I've been doing guys and I don't want to sound like a freaking big headed dick here uh, because it was got it has went quite well for me 43,000 subscriber guys that is fucking amazing seriously I mean I would never ever thought I would get this far when I started YouTube it's just unbelievable it really really is and I can't thank you guys enough um, but seriously you might just think all YouTubers are here just to make you um, laugh and stuff. That is true. That is true. But we do it for a purpose. We do it to keep ourselves happy as well. It's kind of like an addiction for me now, if you know what I mean. We do it to keep ourselves happy, to make you guys happy as well and interact with you. I don't do it for the money. Let's just clear that up straight away for new subscribers that have just joined me for this video. I do not do it for the money. Even though I'm partnered with a, a, a network and stuff, I don't do it for the money. I do it for the fun. That is my motto. That is it, so yeah, I really really hope you guys stick around for a long 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 time and I really really can't wait to produce more videos on you guys, uh, for you guys, I mean not on you, <laughs> that'd be fucking awkward. Yes, I'm producing a video today on you guys, but yeah. Um, but as I said, if you want to go and check out Ollie, then the link for him will be in the description below. But anyway, this is my favourite driving route guys, this is Vegas to Yosemite, as I just said there. And the first time I jumped onto the first beta ever for the crew, granted everything, it had a lot of problems back then, but considering the fact the game is literally less than a week now, it was yesterday, it was a week away, but now it's six days away guys. Unbelievable, cannot wait for it because to all the guys at Ubi and Ivory Tower, big thank you for getting me into every single beta. I mean it seriously, big thank you to all of you, I cannot appreciate it enough. 
because um, this game is just going to blow the freaking roof off of the place when it goes on sale. It really, really is. Now, there's a lot of people out there that hate on it, as I've said before, for the graphics wise. This game isn't about graphics. It isn't about graphics. I must hint that straight away. Nor is it about gameplay, because gameplay, as I can plainly tell you, it's not the best in the world, but it's just perfect for the game that it is, if you know what I mean. It's not meant to be a freaking simulator like Forza or Gran Turismo, even though people can argue that Forza isn't a freaking simulator, I'm not going to get into that story. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, it's such a good game, it really, really is. Oh my god, I'm going to work. Oh my god, too much Rockstar the day, guys, the day, I mean, holy shit. Because I know I said I was going to kick the energy drinks and that, I've honestly not had them in a long, long, long time. I mean, I've been taking coffee instead of energy drinks, but I just went to the shops there, guys, because I didn't wake up until about freaking 1 o'clock the day. I have not done that in a long time. I mean, seriously, I'm normally up right about 9 a.m. making videos for you guys, or 10 a.m. if it's normally me. Um, but today was 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, for oh, God's sake, you can get your arse up and make videos, seriously. Um, so yeah, there's only going to be one video coming today, guys, and I thought I may as well make this a special one. It's going to be a wee bit of a longer one, so I hope you guys stick around to the end. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, the crew is going to be amazing when it drops next week. I'm going to be doing a full Let's Play of it, guys, just to let you know. But well, I don't know if you could do a full Let's Play of it, because the game, it never ends. It never ends, because they're going to be adding more content to it and stuff, but I guess I can just make that another Let's Play episode when they do add that. But apparently it's going to have more than a hundred hours of content now. That's the thing. Horizon 2 said they were going to have 90 hours of content. That's the freaking, what do you call it? Career mode and everything like that. Now I've not got to the second finale yet because I've not really been playing it that much. But, I don't know, 90 hours? I wouldn't say that. As much as all of Horizon 2 guys, I wouldn't say it's got 90 hours worth of content. Let's just say that. So, anyway, but the crew, I could believe. I could honestly believe it has a hundred hours because you've seen the customization and the progression in this game. It really, really, really will take you that long to do it. So, yeah, I cannot wait to pick up the full game, guys. And for the people that are constantly asking me, what console are you getting it on? Are you getting it on PC? I'm going to clear it up right now. So listen up, right? I will not be getting it on the PC. But this is the thing. I have not actually made my mind up yet. I am but probably 75% of me says get it on the PS4 to play with Black Panther because you guys all know this is the big game that me and him collaborate on all the time and then about the last other percent is saying get it on Xbox One so I can play with Andy that's the thing because I know a lot of you guys have PS4s as well and a lot of you guys have Xbox One so it's kind of hard to make my mind up and plus my Xbox One is nearly full already the hard drive is nearly full now I know there's been an update where you can just put the your own like USB stick or hard drive in and you can just download it on that, but I think for the crew, I'm going to get it on the PS4 because the graphics are going to be a wee, bit, a wee bit sharper. And plus, the crew, it's not that sort of game which I would play with other people, if you know what I mean. Well, it would be, obviously. It is that sort of game. It's the, meant to be an MMO, right? So, but with this, I feel as if... You're going to be grinding, 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 getting customization parts and stuff. And I kind of like to do that on my own. Don't know why that is, but I don't know. But yeah, obviously I'll drive it around with you guys on the PS4 version. I probably will get it in the PS4, guys. So yeah, I'm going to make my mind up here. PS4, I will be getting the crew on. Now, I am sorry for the guys in the Xbox One. You still have Horizon 2 to play with me. You still have GTA to play with me. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So... Anyway, moving on to a very, very big subject now, guys. Plans for 2015. Now, <laughs> I've not got really much plans apart from keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, shit, I said, turn in, turn in, brake! 370, Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, I need to upgrade the brakes on this thing, because I've not exactly done a lot. I've just put a decal, then white rims on it, which look absolutely gorgeous indeed. Tell me what you actually think of the car down below, guys. I haven't asked you that yet. I think it looks sexy as hell, and I might actually make my proper 370 when I get the full game look like this, because it's just badass. It really is badass, but yeah, um, as I was saying, I want to keep going and keep going and keep going in 2015, making better and better and better videos for you guys, because 
over the past couple of days, I feel as if the quality has been slipping a little bit. Because that is why I want to make this video a proper long one, informing you guys, make it a lot better um, for me talking wise and stuff. Because when I do free ride ones, I just go and just freaking ramble it all out. I want to take my time more like I'm doing in this one. I want to take my time so you guys can understand me. That's the first thing. So, yeah, I feel if it's, I feel as if it's a lot better like that. Tell me in the comments, would you guys agree? Do you want me to take my time more in like the free ride episodes? Let me actually speak English in it because I know there's been a lot of people saying, oh, EK, slow down when you're speaking. Don't shout, don't act weird, but that's just me. It's just me. I'm trying to be myself, right? I'm trying to be myself, but I'm also trying to accommodate with you guys as well. Try to slow down so you guys can understand me. So, anyway, as I said, I want to keep going, guys. In terms of goals for next year, I've not really got any, but I would love to get to 100k by next autumn, like October time and stuff. Because if you want to put it into perspective right now, last year in 2013, the big game that kicked off the channel for me was Grand Theft Auto 5 with the custom car series. Now, we immediately got to 1k subscribers when the game came out. It was around about November time last year, guys. We got to 1k. Now we are on 43,000. Yeah, take a moment to freaking let that sink in. I'm trying to still sink it in right now. I'm trying to still make it stink. I can't even fucking say that. I am trying to still make it sink in. There we go. It's unbelievable. Seriously, sorry if I'm saying this so much, guys, but thank you so much for the support. It's unbelievable. We live in this now. Turning into Yosemite. I think this is near Yosemite. Yep, this is it. That was quite a short drive when you've got a lot of things to talk about. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, I want to be at 100k by next autumn. I feel as if that's a reasonable goal, because 43,000, we basically jumped from 1k last November for basically 42,000 subscribers in a year now. I am happy with, go I, mean, blew up. I am happy with what I've got, guys. I've never been one to say, oh, let's get to this goal by this time of the year. Let's get to that, because... I don't want to do that because I feel as if you do do that and if it doesn't happen it would bring you down, it really really would but with this year I'm setting it reasonable, I would like to get to 100k by next time, this time next autumn so yeah guys the only way we're going to do that is showing your support, you have been doing that the past god knows how long, how many months and stuff so yeah um, one thing I want to say though is I've noticed that the likes, now here's the thing that might get a lot of hate here, I've noticed that the likes have kind of been dropping off recently. Now this isn't me begging for likes or anything like that, because you know me, I'm not like that. I freaking hate people that do that, like, oh leave a like, leave a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. And they say it constantly. I only say it at the end of the videos because I don't want to say it straight to the start, because that makes you think you're needy. But I've just been noticing it guys, it's just been kind of, <laughs> been on my mind saying it's not really been getting... The videos haven't gotten that much likes as they normally would do, like a few months ago, so yeah, um, I'm just saying guys, can you just keep continuing to show the support which you have been doing, so yeah, that's all I'm going to say in that front for the plans of 2015, because we are on Yosemite, oh yes we are, my favourite driving road in the game and any game at all, because I don't know if you guys have known this right, but I set a Corsa, I think there's a mod for it, where you can get the Transfiguration Highway. Now you know me, I'm not a fan of a set of course that I don't really like the handling in it. It's too fucking simulator for me, it really really is, so... Um, I have seen a few videos on it, but... That's the thing, I don't want to set it up again because it's a bit of a pain in the back side. It really is a pain in the back side, but... Um, you never know, in the future I might go back into a set of course and test it out, but... In the meantime, we've got this baby! Oh yes we do, it is yours and bitty because... I don't know, I probably have told you this a thousand times already, but for new subscribers that don't know, the first time me and Black Panther found this road, we literally stopped talking when we were on Skype and we're just like, uh, uh, um, oh my god, seriously, oh my god. I mean, we literally said nothing, we drove up and down here for like two hours. Theo will know what I'm talking about, if he's watching this video right now, I'm sure you remember, man, because it was such an epic, epic day. It really, really was, because we were actually just getting ready to turn off the um, the consoles, and not the consoles, uh, the PC and stuff, because we'd done a little bit of recording before that, and then 
we found this gem. We really, really did find this gem. And this isn't even the best part of Yosmite yet, or Yosemite. I'm just going to call it Yosmite, guys, because that is the one that I've always called it. So, any freaking haters out there that say, oh, it's actually Yosemite, I don't give two fucks. I really, really don't give two fucks. I can say it whatever I want, I say it. I can say it the, the way I want to say it. That's the way I want to say it. Um, but yeah, this is the best bit, in my opinion. Look at that view. Look at that. I mean, you can drive down there and everything. Granted, you can't go all the way up there because it's like a massive freaking mountain, but uh, it's unbelievable. It really, really is unbelievable because when you get like a group of friends and everything following you, because Theo was in his Skyline GTR R34, I was in my, I think it was a Mustang I was in. I think it was in the Mustang, and there was a, there was a guy following us in a Camaro, I believe. It was absolutely awesome indeed. But anyway, moving on to the next subject, which is Need for Speed No Limits. Now, a lot of people have been talking to me about this subject, saying, Oh, EK, are you going to be making a video on it, like a reaction video and stuff? And I thought this would be the perfect time, because it's just essentially one big road trip. So, anyway, let's go on to the subject of this thing. The new Need for Speed No Limits it is a mobile game. There's been, a, there's been a lot of ranting and raving about it, how there's customization, there's a lot of tuners coming back into it and stuff, because... If you've seen the trailer, well, I've not seen the trailer yet. I've seen a couple of screenshots and like the, the main front picture and stuff. It's got a Toyota GT86 on it with a Dodge Charger police car. But the GT86, it looks like it's been customised the fuck out of. So it kind of reminds me of like an underground 2 vibe, but with cops. Now, I just want to pick up on something that Straight Up Hippo said the other day. Um, and he says that. He doesn't want an underground with ghost handling, like Criterion handling where you get to drift around. I have to say, I completely agree with you, man. I really, really do. I completely agree with you. Because you don't want, like, a freaking little hatchback or um, a freaking Civic EK9 or something, if they do add that into the next um, Need for Speed. You don't want that to be drifting around. You really, really don't. You want to have good handling and stuff like that because that's the thing I wouldn't even mind if they had like the crew sort of physics in Underground 3 or something like that because that would be really really good because the crew it lets you drift sometimes if you're in a certain spec obviously um, but then it just lets you drive and drive and drive but in this example of the 370Z since it is rear wheel drive sports car you can get it sliding a tiny tiny bit round about here so it's really really cool I really really wish the underground, like underground feet, is the next game from from Need for Speed because it's coming out next year, guys. I'm going to be doing massive coverage on the next Need for Speed, guys. Probably one of the most coverage you can get on anywhere on YouTube. Same with any racing game that's coming out right now, uh, like Project Car, which is coming out in March or May, I believe. I think it's March um, and stuff like that. Because I want to be known as the channel to give you the most coverage of games like this. So. I know there's going to be people that have just been... I know there is people out there, I don't want to name names, but there's people out there that just get it on launch date and just bump out the videos like fucking crazy, like four or five videos per day. No one is going to fucking watch the rest of them, seriously. The match that I put out on launch date is two or three if people really, really want it because when you do that, when you start recording a lot more in like one day, you start getting tired, you show less effort in videos and stuff like that, so... You want- Oh shit! What the fuck was that? Is that a fox? I don't know. What does the fox say? Move out of the way of the Nissan! That's what I say. Um, anyway, I'm a wolf, not a fox. As you all know, I am a wolf, yes. For people wondering, EK, you're not a wolf, you're a human being, look at my channel logo. You'll get the point. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, Need for Speed No Limits, I really, really, really hope it shows the future of Need for Speed, like, console games and stuff. Granted, I don't give two fucks about mobile gaming. I think it's one of the worst things out there. Um, who's this is following me? What the fuck? I've seen a Whoa, mate! Jesus Christ! That is a nice 370. It kind of reminds me of the, the underground. <laughs> Speaking of underground, kind of reminds me of Rachel's Nissan 350Z. It's very, very nice indeed. So, um, I don't know if he knows me or is he just like a freaking guy that's driving around with me. Um, but yeah. Um, as I said, I really, really, really do hope the next Need for Speed is underground or something customization, free roam, story mode based. Because we've not had that in a freaking Need for Speed game since, I'm trying to think, 
Well, my favourite Need for Speed game apart from Underground was Undercover. Now, I know a lot of people might be thinking, Say what? Yeah, Undercover is one of my favourite games because the soundtrack's amazing, there's a lot of Pendulum songs in it. Um, the world's really, really good as well. I just love the overall vibe of Undercover. I love the handling, which it lets you do, like, um, like tricks and stuff. Honestly, if there was any handling model that I would love to see in Underground, uh, the new one, I would love to see the Undercover one, because it makes it can let you do tricks and stuff, because that would be good for getting out, like, a... Um, excuse me, guys. That would be good for getting you out of, like, a tricky situation and stuff. So, yeah, some people might disagree with me on that one, but... I kind of think it's just the right mix. I really, really do. If they made it a little bit more stiffer, because Undercover was quite light. It really was quite light. Granted, you could tune the cars in that slightly, let's just say. So, I really, really hope they do make it an Undercover game. But Ghost Games, we're relying on you. We're really, really relying on you not to disappoint. So, if you guys want to share this video around and get the message out, um, to Ghost Games that we really, really want an Undercover. I'm sure the message is already out there because nearly every single Need for Speed video that gets posted to YouTube, oh, this isn't good. This isn't even half as good as Undercover. Not Undercover, Underground, I mean. We want a new Underground. We want a new Underground. That is what everyone posts, so I think they are finally listening because, personally, I think this is just a teaser for a full game, if you know what I mean, because... No Limits can easily make it onto consoles because it has the right sort of name because customization is all about No Limits, free roaming, story mode, etc, etc. Because it's quite a good name, but too bad it's on a freaking mobile. If you know what I mean? Too bad it's on a mobile game. So, yeah, we're near the end of the route now, guys. That's a big ass jump. But this bit, this is really, really cool. I really, really do like this. This is the bit where it takes us down to Lake Tahoe. I really, really like Lake Tahoe because. That's the thing, with the crew, oh my god, sorry if I get off the subject of Need for Speed right now guys, um, I think we've just basically finished the topic of Need for Speed, so um, before we go into the crew again, I just want to say, um, Ghost Games, do pay attention to your fans, I know you have been doing that recently, um, and thanks for keeping us updated and stuff, but please don't let us down, we all want an, under, uh, an underground game, so yeah, make sure it has tuners, make sure it has muscles, Make sure it has all different sorts of cars in the game and not just freaking V12 hyper cars like freaking Lamborghini Veninos and stuff. I'm not saying they're shit. I love them cars to bits. But I would love a sort of Horizon 2 styled um, car list, if you know what I mean, because you get off-roaders, you get tuner cars, you get little hatchbacks, you get hyper cars, you get freaking track day cars and stuff, etc, etc, etc. But yeah, that would be really, really cool indeed. So anyway, he just warped there. Let's do the time warp again. Oh yes. <laughs> that is such an old song. I don't know why I'm freaking singing that, but yes, that's 370 man. You just wait. This is one of the cars you can just lock around the corner and just look at. Just yes, shove it in there. Just shove it in there. Oh yes, yeah, good. I, I mean, the 370 right, is a general brilliant sports car. I was never a big fan of the 350Z. I know you might be thinking, what? What now? But yeah, it was never sort of my car, but then when the 370 came along, just the looks and the overall presence of this thing is so good, because when I used to go to college, guys, I used to see one actually driving, well not driving around, it was parked at the town centre in my town of East Kilbride. It's a silver one, just like you got an undercover, and oh, I was actually going to take a picture of it one day, but I'm the sort of person, when it's like a public place, I never normally take a picture of cars, because that's the thing, I, I'm kind of afraid to show my true colours around people because um, I'm not the most, um, let's just say, out there person when it comes to like being in public. I know you might be thinking, EK's not out there, are you serious now? Yeah, I'm being, I'm being serious guys, when I'm in public and that, I'm quite shy, I really, really am quite shy, but um, take this for example, there was a guy that came up to me saying, are oh, you EK Drifter and that? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a few months back. This was a few months back. I think it was the only guy that done it. Um, but yeah, he came up to me and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, oh, your videos are brilliant. I'm like, oh, that is fantastic. So it's kind of shy though. But yeah, <laughs> it's really, really cool how many people actually live in East Kilbride that watch my videos and stuff and around the Glasgow area. But too bad I've not bumped into these yet. Because um, you guys have always said, oh, you're going to be going to car meets, you're going to be doing a car meet when you do eventually get a car. Uh, yeah, I will be. If I can set, like, an event up and something. Because um, that's the thing. I want to make it during the day, specifically on a weekend, like, next year and stuff. Because 
I want to be, I want to leave my work seriously. If I do eventually get this going as a full time job, that would be amazing. It really, really would be because it'd be my dream job. It really, really would be my dream job because. The, work, the job that I'm in right now, I just, if you don't know, I work in a pound shop. Yeah, that is the thing. I work in a pound shop, and I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I think I like it. I really, really do like it. It's only at the weekends now, so it does give me time to do a lot of videos, which I'm really, really gracious for. So that's the thing. I don't get paid a lot for it. So yeah, it'd be great to do these videos for full time. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, as I was saying, this is. Lake Tahoe down here is unbelievably beautiful and the one thing I was going to say before I get distracted by the need for speed thing is the crew has actually got me in a more explanate I can't speak sorry guys if I'm mucking up the day it's just my lips can't move I'm just like me 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 that's what I'm like so I don't know if you guys get that when your, your lips just sort of go numb and they don't move but that's exactly what it's like for me sometimes but yeah, um, as I was saying, the crew kind of gets me in like a more exploration mode. Like, I want to travel the world more. I want to go to the United States. I want to visit Lake Tahoe. It's just one of them sort of games. It was the exact same thing with Test Drive. Now, granted, Test Drive were made by the same people. Granted, Eden Games has been shutting down now. And um, most of the people from Eden Games have formed Ivory Tower. So, they're just an overall great team. I talk to them sometimes on Twitter. Like uh, Julian, Julian Garrity, Anna Bondell, I think that's her name, Anna Bondell, I think it is. Um, she follows me on Twitter as well, she's quite funny. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an epic, epic game, guys, as I said on the crew. Don't know if I'm going to be doing another video on it, because I want to save it until next week, and this has actually been quite a good send-off video as well. So, yeah, if I do make another one, then I do make another one, okay? So yeah, I will see you tomorrow guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I know it was quite a long one, but I was in a rambling mood today, and I hope you guys sticked around to the end, and if you did stick around to the end, you are the most hardcore fans out there, oh yes, I salute you, oh yes I really do. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys, if you have enjoyed it, then please do smack that like button in the freaking face until shit falls down, and also subscribe for more fresh funny videos from me, and new crew content when the game drops next week. So, as I said, guys, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. From me and the 370Z, I'm Lake Tahoe. Peace. It's goddamn beautiful right there.